we going to be building some barbell sliders today and I ain't talking about burgers. Welcome back to the self built. Today is a build video. I haven't done one of these for a minute, so I'm excited to share another idea with you guys. I came across this really cool video with the super custom barbell that someone was using to bench and wherever they squoze, it would move along with their hands as they were going down. I was like, that's cool. I wouldn't want to spend however much he spent. If I can find that, I will, if I can find how much that bar cost, I'll leave it over here. If not, here's just a big dud for you. And it got me thinking, I don't think that's very hard to build at least for my setup. I do have a big disclosure and I only recommend this for Smith machines and you'll know why a little bit later. But these are just a lot safer, especially if your hands are gonna be moving on the bar. I wouldn't want a barbell to be coming crashing down, especially if you lose balance. A lot of bad things can happen that way, but it's up to you guys in the end. Little teaser of the final product is, it's somewhere in this room. Where are, where are these things? Oh, is that a barbell slider in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? So here's a teaser and that's all you're getting. Something nice is this is an extremely cheap build. It didn't cost me a thing just because I already had the supplies laying around in my garage. Chances are you probably already have something like this laying around or you can pick it up ultra cheap at a hardware store. First and only thing that you really even need is some PVC pipe. <laughs> I don't remember when I bought this. Well, I remember what I bought it for, but I've had this stored for quite some time. Figured, I know I'll use this in the future. That day has come. This is a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. This will fit over the handle of the traditional two inch barbells. Now we're gonna have to chop this into two pieces, one for each hand. And then I think, I don't think I can cut it right in half. I might try that first just to see what that looks like because I've got plenty to spare. So first I'll do an experiment. I'll just cut one section, slice it right in half, and see if that works good enough and we'll go from there. There's a lot of different ways you can cut pipe. I'm gonna first try this. This might be about as big as pipe as it can take. And I'm just gonna cut, oh, a six inch section or so just to start with and see how that goes. This little bad boy, pretty good thickness for whatever grip I can think of. Didn't cut 100% smoothly. But you know what, that's why I overcut, so I've got a little bit of extra if it decided to go a little crazy. Next, I'm gonna use a little Dremel and just cut this right in half. Whenever you're using a cutting tool, make sure, safety forced, my shores. There we go, <laughs> a little dusty, but you know what? This might do the trick. Let's try it out. First time of trying it. Let's see if this is paying off. Oh, geez, <laughs> this thing slides like crazy. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Whoa. Let's see. Okay. So you can definitely feel it moving around. Curious how it feels when it's got some more weight to it. Let's see if it still slides around when it's got 25s on here. Oh yeah. It doesn't seem to come together much. I mean, you can easily do it that way. Hmm. Let's try this at a different angle. This is what I was originally seeing this exercise done on. So let's see if this feels any different. Feels fatter, that's for sure. Let's see. Oh yeah. With chest, it's a lot more natural for it to move. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you can almost, it 
almost feels like you can turn it into a fly a little bit. Oh yeah, kind of feels like a fly. And I imagine the more that I use this, that the knurling will just kind of grind it down and make it go that much smoother. Let's try it with a little bit of weight. Yeah. Gives you a little extra squeeze at the top. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. If you slow it down, it just makes it that much better. Cool. And then it's also got just enough grip to where you can squeeze and stay stationary if you desire. These seem to be a little bit more geared towards the pressing movements, just because when you're doing back, it's not like I'm opening up like that. It doesn't, just doesn't feel as natural, but when you're doing chest, you're just bringing your hands and elbows closer in. So it feels more natural to just kind of go in and out. So I think presses will be a little better. I think even if you do shoulders, you'll naturally do that same thing. So these are really cool. I'm gonna do a couple small final touches on this thing and then we'll call it done. What is the secret addition, you may ask? Duct tape, of course. Let's add a little bit of extra grip to these. Just make it that much better and I think we'll call it good. I really love it when one of the simplest setups comes together, really cheap, works the first time, and it's not too shabby. There it is. Look how official this thing's looking. There you go. Super easy. Didn't cost a thing to build. A little bit of electricity, but that's about it. So if, you have, if you've got stuff like this laying around, you can absolutely add this to whatever. I would not recommend putting these on a free weight barbell, just because with it being unstable, you might have one hand slide more than the other, and if it's not locked into something like this, you could easily lose the weight. I don't think it's worth the risk, but I'll leave that up to you guys. If you have a Smith machine at home or the gym and you want to change it up, make it feel a little bit different, these can easily do that for you. And just for fun, to test my theory, to see if it is more geared toward the old pressing, let's see how it goes. Do some shoulder pressing. So we'll go like this. Whoop! Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty forgiving. You don't have to be exactly. You can just be on it a little bit, and it still slides quite a bit. The only thing that you kind of have to keep your eye on is the rotation of this. So you don't want the hook to accidentally go in. So that might be something to run into, but this is kind of cool. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going close. We're going wide. We're going all over the place. I'm definitely gonna be playing with these things and seeing if they get even more slippery as they break in a little bit. This knurling is pretty mild, but I think over time it'll definitely wear some good grooves in here to see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna play with these and just kind of see what secret exercises they can enhance. I'm just playing around for a second here and I'm already like, oh, we could be doing some wrist curls without this thing even moving. So there is a plus right there. Or if you wanna do some curls, some drag curls, make it a little bit more comfortable for you it can actually rotate with you instead of your hand being fixed. So there might be a couple ideas coming in the future. So stay tuned for those. And that is it for the end of this build video. This has to be one of the easiest, quickest, and cheapest ones that I've done in a very long time. So it's nice to go back to basics and do some small things here or there. And another great thing is these things don't take up much space. So even though it has kind of a small niche, as far as I know right now, as far as exercises that it can enhance, it doesn't take up much space, so it's really no big deal. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on these, and if you can think of some other ways that we can make these that much better. I am all ears, and I'd love to hear what you think. If you want to see some more great build videos or workout videos, don't forget to check out one of these bloops over here. And to punch another ticket on that game train, don't forget to tune in to Mosaic Bill.